another one. All right, so this one says, is overqualification a real thing? All right, hello, fellow software testers. I recently went through an interview. And we- I recently went through an interesting experience while applying for a new job and wanted to get your thoughts on it. So I've been working as a test automation engineer for the past year and a half and came across a project that I was genuinely interested in. They advertised for mobile testing, junior QA knowledge, junior QA role knowledge. And while I didn't have much hands-on experience in that area, they mentioned that their, that theoretical knowledge would be enough. I had a successful interview where I confidently answered most of the software testing related questions they asked. However, the next day they told me that they believed I was overqualified for the role and that they didn't have a position for me at the moment. They did mention that they might have something for me in a few months and how impressed they were with my professional. To be honest, I found this a this, I found this reasoning a bit unclear. I genuinely wanted the job because of my interest in the industry, and I was m- more than willing to start with a manual testing, even though I continue to learn test automation in my free time. Picking up on Playwright initially worked with Cypress. Could this be a valid reason, or do you think it was just an excuse because they didn't like me? I'm contemplating on ret- replying to them, stating that I'm okay with a downgrade in terms of job responsibilities and that my main focus is on gaining product knowledge and valuable experience within the industry I'm passionate about. What do you guys think? Have you ever encountered situations like this before? Any advice or insight would be greatly appreciated. Thank you in advance. Overqualification is certainly a real thing. Why is overqualification a real thing, right? The problem that, ha- that, that happens when you're overqualified for a position is one of the most expensive things for companies to do is hire people. It is super, super expensive, super long process. And why is hiring so expensive, right? Let's start the clock. We're not going to have that happen again. So why is hiring so expensive? Hmm? So great that you asked. Hiring is so expensive because... The time that it takes for either managers or recruiters to go through um, resumes, to call people, to do interviews, all that stuff, that is super expensive. It's super time consuming. So, for instance, right, when um, if I have to do a, if I have to like review a technical project, right, that might take me about 30 minutes to an hour. So, that's time away from work that I could be contributing to the software that, that we're developing. So now, if um, if I think that your um, your technical project uh, meets the, our level, meets our criteria, then um, we have to schedule an interview, right? So, so let's say um, let's say there's a recruiter, right? We'll start from the beginning. Let's say there's a recruiter. The recruiter um, the recruiter reaches out to you, right? And you guys talk for like half an hour, um, and you want to move forward. So that's half an hour of the recruiter's time in addition to the time that the recruiter spent um, reviewing your resume and everything like that, right? So now, um, so you want to move on to the next step, right? So let's say you, you speak to the hiring manager, right? So that's time from the hiring manager who also reviews your resume, who spends maybe 30 minutes to an hour with you talking to you and everything like that. Um, and uh, so let's say now they, they like you, you move on to the technical project, um, if there's a technical project, some some companies don't do that. Uh, some companies, they, it's more of a question base, um, but whatever it might be, right? So let's say there is a technical project. So now you send that to the, um, you send that back to the company. And now someone like me, um, I might be reviewing it. So I spend like 30 minutes to an hour reviewing your, your, your um, like grading your, your um, project, right? And let's say I give the thumbs up, right? So now you'd get um, you get an interview to go over that technical project and talk about it, so you can explain what what happened. So that might be like another hour long interview with um, maybe one to three people interviewing you, right? Uh, so so that's taking um, so th- so the time that it would take it took to uh, review the project and the time that those three people are are interviewing you, 
And if all goes well, maybe you go to the final interview or something like that, right? So it, it just so now, let's say that um, for one position, that takes place for like 20 people, right? Because for some reason, like people fell off in the process. So let's say it's someone that you really like, you go to extend the offer, but it took too long and they accepted another position, right? So now we have to start over again. So the reason f for, for all of that is to show that if you are overqualified for a position and the company is looking for retention of employees, now after you get that experience and um, you don't, you're not happy with the, the salary or your responsibilities and you want to move up, right? Now you leave the company and they, they have to start all over at square one again. Right. It, it's 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 not it's not um, in the best interest of the company. It's not economically feasible. Um, so because it's like you you end up kind of like using that company um, for for um, you're kind of using that company like just so for your learning experience that you're going to take that what you learned, that experience. And now you're going to say, well, I want more money. And it's like, well, we, we can't give you more money because this is what's in our budget. And when we hired you, this is what the agreement was. But look, like there's no, there's no, there's no gun to your head that's forcing you to stay. So now, when the next company um, offers you more money, um, because now that you want, like you want more money, you're applying to go to different places. You get offered more money, and you go. Now that company who took a chance on you because you said that you're okay with getting a lesser role, with getting less money, all of that, uh, they're starting over from ground one, and they have to retrain all over again go through the same process so companies look for retention they're not look like and that's why that's the problem with overqualification and as the same well if you're overqualified what happens when you get bored in your position and you want to um and you want to do something else right so so that's why overqualification is a real thing it's nothing personal it's it's what's in the best interest of the company the same way i always say you should do what's in your best interest as well Right. And I'll tell you this, like um, there was like the same job that I was talking about um, two jobs ago when they posted their position, um, they were looking for someone at a at a um, lower level than I was. But in their goals for the, the QA um, for the QA team, um, I just happened to meet those goals. So in that way, they were able to bump the position up higher to in order to bring me on. But that's because they were already planning on to to transition that way. Um, I just happened to come along sooner, and that's how I got that position. But if if they were if if it, they were set in stone that they were going to go at that lower position, then I wouldn't have been able to to land that job, right? Um, and because I would have been overqualified. So just want just just putting it out there, overqualification is a real thing. Apply for like, and if if you if. If you want to take a lesser job, then you're going to have to um, you're going to have to lessen um, the way that you you portray yourself. Um, but I'll say, don't don't go down. Like go for um, like learn, um, learn on your own, and go for the higher jobs and get more money, get more experience, level up. We don't back down. We just keep winning because all we do is when all right so let's go from there all right let's pull up the next question we are almost done for the night as well information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to tap Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.